What's up everybody and welcome back to another Disney Cars review. Today I am going to be showing you Brent Warren Wagon. And before we get into this review, before we get into this review, which was suggested to me by Teen Toys Reviews T Y, um, you guys may you guys may have noticed I haven't been uploading uh, a lot recently. My last upload was three days ago. And the reason why I haven't been uploading lots was because school is one of them, you gotta stay in school, you gotta do your work and I'm paying more attention to that now which is good uh, but the other thing is that I haven't been feeling a hundred percent so I haven't felt that well so yeah and uh, haven't been feeling well so uploads have been no scarce but I finally feel well t today I feel a little better than I did Tuesday and Monday, so that's good. So I'm I'm able to get a video out for you guys today, and yeah, so that's it. So let's get into the review of this amazing character. And yeah, let me show you something very quickly. Um, on the packaging, the the, the character's eye. You can see like he's a dark red. He's a light red on the diecast, which is pretty interesting. Don't know why Mattel did that. I believe I unboxed this guy on my channel, but very far back. He's one of the first videos ever to be uploaded to the channel, so it's a pretty old video. So anyway, so you can see he's a, um, a full black, I don't think it tells you the model of the character. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what model of car he is, but if you do know, let me know in the comments down below. I'm very interested. What you guys think of what car model he is because I know he's based off a um, car model for sure. There's a car out there that's probably similar to him. But anyways, guys, you can see right away that he has a kiss grill with these arrows on it, and he has this Friday expression, which makes sense. He was in the Ye Left Turn In, which is a scene when Ace and Grab crash into a bar and spill drinks, and then a few seconds later, they're getting beat up by the boy people, cars in this case. We have his diecast has like a lining, like lots of lining, like like if you run your finger against these textured panels, I think that's what I'll call them panels. They like they make a sound. He has plastic mirrors. You can see his headlights are. Decently detailed, they're not really detailed. These are released in like 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. The tire reads Roadhog, which is the same tire as Victor H. So, yeah, he's just, he's basically, uh, he's like a basic plain red delivery truck. I believe that's what that type of car he is. The license plate reads. L T T I I K Q E. Don't know what that stands for. It's made of letters, I believe. And here's the base. If you notice, the, the roof of it is very smooth. And I, I believe it may have a little bit of a matte finish because it doesn't shine that, that much as, like, for example, Doug's Ottoman. I just picked him out because I saw him right in front of me. Like, he has like light reflecting everywhere off of him. But with Brent Ward Wagon, like, it's a little less like, shiny. So it may have a uh, some sort of a matte finish to it, but not like a hard matte finish like the Damnation Derby cars. So let's get into a review. Um, the first car I'm going to review is that exactly the same model. His name is Paul Oakley, which is in, which is another character T Toys has suggested to me. So I will review that possibly in two weeks from now, just to give it a break between the similar characters. And yeah, they are both seen in the left turn in. You can see they both have like aggressive expressions. Paul has more of an aggressive expression. Than Brent, but they both look as important. The only difference about these guys is basically the eye expression 
and the cutter, that's all it is. But the interesting little trucks, say exactly the same license plates. Oh, I just noticed something. The handle on the back of his is painted. You see, it's painted right there. But for Brent, look at that. It's still red. That's very interesting. I just noticed that right now. <laughs> and they're both pretty heavy trucks. Yeah, the texture shows up a little more. Shows up a lot more on, on Paul Oakley. But yeah, they're both pretty interesting characters. Other cars that. In this one, I'm just going to compare cars that were released in the EF turn in. So, here's M. Fendrickson, I believe that's his name. He was also released in the ELF Turning series. The good thing about this series, the ELF Turning series, was that it was it's a new series, which was good, but it was also all new characters. The only non-new characters in it was Acer and Grim. They just had new variations released in the series, which was Acer and Grim and Trouble, which I don't have. Because I don't see the point in buying them. It's basically Grevinator with a different expression. Yeah, my parents they weren't want me to get those variations anyway for that reason as well. Now here's Chauncey Fairs. I believe she, he, it's a she, right? Yeah. I believe she was the first character released in the series. She was at least the first one for the year that turned the series that I got. He's a, she's a pretty cool card. Last but not least, Brian Fuel, which is my favorite from the series. He is a forklift, and he looks absolutely amazing with his bow tie and his mustache and his combed hair looking like Roof. He looks amazing. He's actually the bartender in it. He's my favorite from the series. And he was a pretty common character to find in my area back in 2015, 2014. Whenever these guys were released, then he was pretty common to find in my area. So yeah guys, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again guys, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get uploads lately. I just have felt well and I was busy with school. But at least I got a video up for you guys today. And maybe hopefully on Friday or so. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.